Okay, after further thinking, I decided to do an HDPE first. Then evaluate whether or not this is even safe to do the uh, fiberglass. I expect this will just expand. It'll be very loud. But I'm going to do this. Set the camera and do this remotely. Okay, so I'm going to hook it up to the firing system instead for my uh, first shoot of this probably contained, in this case, explosion. And depending on how contained it is, I will decide whether or not to proceed. Shell fully inside, just in case you want to subject. That's where we launched from. Okay, testing the system. Let's do 75. Yep. So this should work. Shut it off. Okay, I like I said, I expect this to just expand and explode, be very loud. But I got the camera running. I'm going to remove the camera. Okay, it actually contained it more than I thought, which is interesting. As you can see, it seems in relatively good condition. Most of the impact went out, it did get destroyed. But it did shoot most of the impact, as I think I saw, out the top, rather than shattering. All right, stop, put this stuff away. I'm sure people are starting to get concerned what's going on. Okay, so here's the carnage. Um, the uh, fiberglass, actually the tube itself held up really well. There's the spent shell. Uh, but the bomb blew out, of course, because it's plastic. Who knows, wood might have survived. It did much better than I thought. I thought this was going to shatter into little pieces. But it was strong enough that it forced, it looked like, I'll review the video, it looked like it forced the explosives out the top rather than shattering. The HDPE, because it's designed to stretch, did. That's why you use it. it absorbs the impact. Uh, it was destroyed. And the uh, plug sort of slid down but didn't actually come out. Oh, there's the <laughs> some parts of it. This was near the HDPE tube. So this is a piece of blew off maybe part of the shell. I don't know. Here's the butt face to that one. This, as you know, was screwed down to my the X I made. Because I didn't want to destroy a rack doing this. If somebody else wants to shoot a video of an HDPE in a rack and see what damage it causes, I imagine it would depend on how much of the bottom is covered. If it's only an inch shell, your rack, which is all you really need, you stabilize the bottom, might actually survive and the tube absorb most of the impact. Something to think about when you're uh, doing racks with HDPEs. Um, okay. There's an, yeah. That's just remnants of the shell. Oh, these are both Excaliburs. You weren't. I wanted to make sure there was roughly the same composition for the shells. Um, I will review the video. You can review the video too. Um, basically, I'd say both of them did their job, but in different ways. Uh, you can see the significant differences here. 
this this is by the way this is from Goliath this particular tube it's the one that came from in the Goliath set it isn't labeled like the others but that's where it came from so it's uh, their build quality which is probably the same as everybody uses okay 